All right, today we got a special unboxing for you guys. We got this uh, from my mom. She sent this to us to do a review on it. All right, let's start opening it. Ship all the way from Flint, Michigan. Wait. Oh, snap, what is... Wait, there's nothing in here. Okay. Oh, okay. So I guess you want us to review water. The starting lineup. The starting lineup. It's like the Avengers. So today we have here four different brands of water, and we're gonna be ranking them based on four criteria, starting with the bottle design, the smell, the taste, and the durability. All right. First up, we got the Sanis or the Sani, something like that. Um, you know, this looks kind of cute. It looks like uh, some see-through plastic layer thing. Um, it's environment friendly, so yeah, that's important, you know, look at that. So um, if I saw this at a grocery store, I'll probably pick this up. Yeah, I like the um, blue wrapper too. Yeah, it's super nice. And look, it's a Coca-Cola company, so you know, it's okay. probably gonna get you fat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, yeah, this, this looks good. I would, I would get this, it says pure crisp taste. Next up, we got the Kroger Purified Drinking Water. Uh, honestly, I was not really impressed with the design at all. It seems like a really, really basic bottle. Um, and I think this one has no nutrition facts. You can see that the Sony one has nutrition facts. So you don't really know what you're drinking here. It might be like one calorie in there. This one, it, it promised zero calorie. So for your health people out there, you should get this over this because I don't know what's in here. Yeah, dude. All right, next up. Next up, we got this bougie looking design. Look at this. Yeah, dude. It's got curves too. If this was in a Sports Illustrator magazine, this would be the model. It's curvy, it's thick, it's super beautiful. Um, so uh, it's called Eternal. Uh, there's one liter in here. One liter, sorry. Um, There's also a pH value of 8, which is kind of weird because usually water is at 7. I guess it's yeah. uh, for more basic people. And they try to compare it to other water brands, Smart Water. If you can see here, it put factories. So apparently Smart Water comes from the factory and this comes from nature. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is my favorite bottle design so far. Alright, and we got the OG bottle, last but not least, Crystal Geyser. Uh, this one is actually a very unnecessarily big bottle. Uh, look at it, look at it. If this was the Avenger, this would be fucking Hulk. Yeah, it's like the final form. And it says it's bottle at the source. Not really sure where the source is. I'm assuming it's at the Crystal Geyser. And it says it's Alpine Spring Water, so I'm guessing this product is seasonal. So glad we got it right now. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna take you guys through the next few criteria. All right, so next, we're gonna do the sound test. Testing the sound. All right, sounds firm, 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 very firm. All right, we're gonna whip this baby open. All right, let me get it. Ooh, okay, it's it's silent, kind of like a hybrid or a Prius. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it is eco-friendly. So yeah, it is eco-friendly. So maybe that's part of the thing going on. Next up, we got the Kroger ones. Honestly, I'm not really impressed, so I don't really expect much to happen when I open it, but yeah, you never know. Ooh, okay, has a good click to it. All right, very promising. Next, Next up, we're gonna go with the Fuji water. The Sports Illustrator looking body one. When you, right. when you open it, you might hear a basic Wait, you gotta do the tapping sound. Ooh, this Ooh. one's really firm. Ooh. It's I like, like that. super firm. Right. Like a snack. Gonna crack this open. Okay. okay. Very subtle. Cap design. You nice. see that? Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful right there. All right. Last but not least, we got the OG right here. Hopefully, it does live up to its expectations. It's actually very uh, not that firm. 
Alright, this one sounds like it's almost retired. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna taste, give it a taste test. And a smell one too while we're at it. Yeah. How is it? Does that smell like tea? Honestly, nothing. I mean, like, I have a pretty bad sense of smell, but... Yeah, I'm really smelling it. Yo, what does it smell like tea? Oh shit. It smells like shit. Oh, oh. no. Alright, I'm gonna give it a taste. Bro, I said it taste. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No, dude, that's... Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're next. Alright. Kroger, sus looking water. What does it like? It sounds like classic. Oh, I think it's the bottle. Honestly, it tastes like tap water. Okay, tap water. I think this tastes like, like out know, bottled water, whatever that tastes like. It tastes like eco family water. Now we got the, the basic one. Yeah, we got the, the super extra looking water bottle. We're gonna taste this and smell it. Dude, I wanted that one. <laughs> I wanted that one. Hmm. Uh, kind of smells like this one. Let me give it a taste. It has like a more lingering taste. Yeah, there's an aftertaste? Yeah, there's an aftertaste. Nice. Final one, OG, OG Crystal Geyser. It has a smell to it. Yeah. I like the texture. You do? Yeah. What does it taste like? It tastes like better one. Damn. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so that concludes our taste and smell test. Dude, you're very bad at this. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna change the variable here to a different flipper. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. This is the OG! Alright, this shit might take us thrown. Never mind. And now we're gonna do it in a group setting environment, because you know, yeah. you want us to see their behavioral control environment. Alright. Son of a bitch. <laughs> So welcome back guys. Um, that concludes our testing of these four water brands. We just want to give the winners of each category and we'll start off with Ball Design. Ball Design, yeah. So for Ball Design, it's a very clear obvious winner. Which one looked the nicest to your eyes? Come on. Just looking like a snack right here. Yeah, the Sports Illustrated looking bottle. Everything else looked like it got a little too big. Yeah. But me, this one, it got the curve. This one has meat in all the right places. Yep, yeah. This, this is just like thick all around. This one looks nice on the outside, but you know, like, it's not like beautiful inside. So that wins. Yeah, this one's just like straight up dad bod. So for the taste, I gotta go with this, Ani. It just tastes really nice. It's really refreshing compared to the other water brands. It just has a, a better taste that lasts in my mouth. Plus it also helps to have the nutrition facts, right? So. Yeah, it also does. Definitely. As for the smell, honestly, I feel like all four smell pretty similar, but if I really had to choose, these two smell like nothing to me. So it makes me think that I'm actually drinking water, not something that's 
you know, flavored. And last but not least, we got the durability test. And uh, based on the flipping bottle test, the Crystal Geyser one because it was the only one that landed. But according to a recent news report, um, crime rates in the area have been going down because someone used this bottle right here to defend himself from a late night robbery. And uh, that person has been in a coma ever since. He lost his memory. He didn't even know what hit him. Yeah. So we I'm, won, and then now we have uh, one clear winner. We know crystal clear which one won. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. It's this one. It won in almost every single category. And it's uh, you know it's a late night defender. It can be your best friend and your best weapon. So we recommend you to get this brand, Eternal. You won't regret it. Yeah. Please sponsor us. Don't sponsor us. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, till next time. Till next time. Buy reviews or product reviews. We'll be right back.